Hey everybody, it is February 18th, 2024 here in Ljubljana, Slovenia. That means it's officially my birthday. And I um I didn't sleep very well last night, but I also kind of passed out early. Um and so I've kind of been up since four. <laughs> kind of just laying in bed and um I don't know, whatever. Um I get like that sometimes. I get when it's my birthday, I kind of get in my head about things, and so um yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, I have a tour this morning. I'm touring the Lake Bled, which is something I saw when I was researching this place. I really, really, really want to check it out. Um, I was going to take the two o'clock tour this afternoon, or this afternoon, but yesterday they were like, oh, you're the only one on the tour. Can we switch you to the morning tour? And I was like, mm, I really want to get up early on my birthday, but I really want to take the tour. And then the good thing is, is the tour will be done uh we only go there for a couple hours so i literally have to walk right up the street to be picked up it's a 45 minute drive to the castle and everything and then we come back and so i should be back by 1 30 or 2 and then i have the whole evening to just cel celebrate moi for my birthday so i definitely got to find a place to um well, i had a really good dinner yesterday i don't know if i want to go back to the same place i want to try something different but i'll have like a nice dinner and then um a couple of glasses of wine to celebrate and sort of just like ease in because um, then tomorrow is my final, like my, my last day. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and like just pack up everything and be ready to go and just spend the day sort of like, I don't know. I'll try and find another tour, but I don't really think I need one. We'll see. Um, but I've already had such a great time and I met some good people. Um, oh, I gotta see, cause I made friends with that guy from Panama. I gotta see if he's still in town. Maybe we'll go hang out. Um, but I've been trying to make friends here, you know, everybody's been really great and really lovely. So uh, I also want to say happy birthday to my twin sister, Michelle. Uh, even with the time difference, it's just now her birthday. So I already texted her. Um, also, happy birthday to my cousin, Cheryl. She also has the same birthday. And um, my friend, Aaron Marciniak, I just texted him. It's his birthday. So anyways, this is like the fourth most popular birthday. And so I have a bunch of people that I have to text all day long for their birthday. So, But those are like the main four. My cousin, my sister, Aaron. Um, also, my friend Brian, another friend Michael, who's a sound guy. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, um, Hector. Hector Rodriguez, it's his birthday too. He was, ironically enough, when I had my play produced back in 2011, he was the director. And I was the writer, and we both had the same birthday. So, craziness. I know, February 18th is a very, very busy day. And the only thing I can think of is I think nine months before was Mother's Day. So, do with that information what you will. But I'm going to finish getting ready. So, look, I'm wearing my... My Ljubljana sweatshirt today. Um, it is supposed to be a little bit cooler today, I believe. And I think because we're further inland, I don't know. But uh, I have my thermal on and I'll bring my, my scarf and my big rain jacket and my camera. And just some snacks, just a little bit. So, um, yeah. Because I don't eat. This is too early for me to eat right now. So, but anyways, thank you, everybody. I uh, hope, see, it's Sunday. So, hope everybody's having a good Sunday. And... Yeah, I will um, just vlog about the day. I'm walking to the meeting point, and it's so much colder today. It's even overcast and stuff, too. So um, I don't know if it rained. I don't know if it's supposed to rain. I think it was, rain it was supposed to rain a little bit this morning. So maybe it did. But um, people are still out and about. It's just less crowded because it's, you know, almost 8 o'clock on a Sunday. So, but it's okay. It's going to be a beautiful day. I have to... Believe that, even though it's going to be cold, I'm still going to have a good time. Plus, this castle looks really beautiful. So, um, who doesn't like looking at castles, right? So, all right, here we go. This is having a sit here. bells and there's the funicular up to the castle so we haven't made it to the castle yet because it's so it's actually raining on me right now and it's really cold and overcast but we came to our first spot which is of part of the lake so um here i'll turn around so you can see it's so overcast and cloudy i'm sitting in rain right now oh wait i turned it too soon you missed this That's so majestic. I'll see if I can get some photos of it. I don't know. 
And um, just as we walked up, this guy was swimming. So, um, but yeah, it's, wow, that's beautiful. Let's see if I can get some photos of it. Look how beautiful it is. Wow. Look at, there's a castle. We came to a different location. Uh, so that's the church that's on the island. And up there on the mountain right there. I always have to do it. That's the castle. We're going to go up there later and we're going to tour that. But this is the church. And this is what I thought was the actual castle. But this is actually the church. And look how beautiful it is today. And the water is so clear. So I'm taking some fun pictures. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys. So that's the church. And um, we don't go there today. And there's no boats going. But that is... We're going to go up there. So I will vlog from up there. Well, let me gather away. I'm sorry. Sorry. So after I got off the... Literally as soon as I, I clicked recording... I walked over and there's like a um, a young gay couple on the 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 um, the tour with me, and it's one of their it's it was funny because they're like oh what are you traveling for and I says oh, I'm traveling for my birthday, and his husband goes well when's your birthday and I said today and the guy says oh my god it's my birthday too he's right there that's the other birthday boy it's his birthday too Hello. I do I'm doing a vlog so <laughs> what's your name again Clay Clay <laughs> so we're the it's our birthday so you have to be nice to us. Woo okay, we're gonna go enjoy the tour. Show me. You call this a trumpet? Good, good. That's amazing. They call this the trumpet. You're so edible. You just ate the trumpet. You just ate the trumpet. So we're literally on the edge of the cliff. So I'm gonna do this real quickly because you know I'm scared of heights. But I'm gonna come up the stairs. I'm gonna show you the same church, but from up here, okay? But there's that church. This is so freaking terrifying. I'm not. There you are. That's what you get. I'm leaving now because I'm terrified of heights. I don't like this at all. There you go. So I just had a couple glasses of wine. Oh, actually, like they're like wine. They have wine tasting down there in that door. Um, just like two euros for a taste. Not bad at all. Very good wine. So he said it's only available here on the castle and at the winery, which is near the Italian border. But look at this view. I don't know if you can see it from here, but. I could, I'm sorry, I couldn't do that drop. It was, I mean, you saw, it's just, I mean, we're on, it's like, we're like, I don't know, it's we're ridiculously high. And so I couldn't get to the edge to take pictures. It was terrifying. So I had to leave the tour behind and I went and got a glass of wine. Now I'm probably gonna go to the gift shop, but everybody's in the, the, the museum right now, which is amazing. But I just wanted to stand here and look at these views. I wish, I mean, I wish the phone could show you what I could see, just how far, and the sad thing is, is right behind us are the Alps. And usually during the summer, you can see the Alps. So he's saying that the um, the church out in the middle is great because the Alps are behind it, but you can't see him right now because of the weather. So, which is fine. I'm the one that travels in February. Either way, it's still very majestic even this time of year. It is just beautiful. There's like this low lying fog out there. So it just looks sort of mysterious, you know? It's really amazing. Okay, so I'm down at the castle and I just hung out with that couple who has the same birthday as I do. Well, the one of them. And we just had this nice um, Slovenian cake that is known here in Lake Bled and it was really good. It actually tastes like creme, like creme brulee, but like in cake form. It was so good. And they actually bought it for me for my birthday. So I thought that was very lovely of them. So now we're heading back to the van to head back into Ljubljana. They're going to the caves. I wish I was going to the caves. I wish I'd have known. I couldn't find a tour that had this and the caves. So I might go back and research to see if I can find some of the caves for maybe tomorrow. But with that, way back home. I had an amazing time here. I got some wine. I had some cake. I made some friends. I think overall, and we, I was on a castle on a hill. Look at that. So yeah, well, great The time. tour is officially over. I am back in Ljubljana. In the main city, I'm going to walk back to my Airbnb and drop off all this stuff. And it's just finally starting to warm up and it's feeling really nice. So I'm going to walk around and I don't know, got to find a place. I really want some lunch. I haven't really eaten. I did have some nice, I had that nice piece of cake, but I actually need some real food. So I'm going to go do that right now. So I got to be quiet because I'm sitting at a restaurant right now. But I just came back over to this restaurant that I came to yesterday. And I really like it because they had wine and a pasta carbonara. And 
pasta was really good and so is the wine. So I'm gonna have a nice birthday lunch here. I think this is a good way to celebrate. Um, the weather's warm, getting a little bit warmer now, so it feels really good to be outside. And they have heaters underneath the seat, so it's warming up my legs and other regions. So. so I stumbled upon this little area over here is really cute, and there seems to be a taco place over there. So I think I might try that out tomorrow, since I just ate. But it's called Ferdinand's. They got tacos. And across the street from it is a place that sells pizza by the slice. So I might kick it over here tomorrow. Um, but not right now, since I just ate. Or maybe even for dinner tonight, because it's really only like 3 o'clock, and I'm sure I'm going to be hungry soon. The thing with Sunday is there's a lot of places that are closed. And the weather, the temperature is dropping a lot. It's getting cold. So, I don't know what to do. I might go find a place to have some coffee and see if I can warm up. Huh. People look at me because I'm always vlogging. Sorry, I'm American, what can I do? What can I say? But yeah, I'm gonna go try this place called Ferdinand's. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go find some coffee. So I'm sitting at the fountain, right here next to my Airbnb. I got more ice cream, this time in a cup, because I, I didn't want it to get everywhere, but I thought that was a nice way to end my dinner. I mean, my lunch, have a little bit of ice cream. And I'm gonna get a coffee at this place next door. I don't know, it's just, as you can see, the weather is cooling down. So it's definitely cold, but, um, and it's less crowded than yesterday, but I don't know, man, it's just beautiful today and I'm just not ready to go inside yet. So, I'm gonna have a little bit of ice cream. So, so I found a place to get a little espresso. It's literally at the place next door to my Airbnb. And the cool thing is, is uh, everybody in America is waking up, so I'm trying to get all my birthday messages. But it's funny, because it's about 3.30 p.m. and I've already like, I've already toured a castle, and I've had lunch, and I've walked around, and I'm, that ice cream and out espresso and it's sweet because they're all just it's probably about 9 9 a.m there so everybody's like getting up and getting started for their day so actually it's probably only eight o'clock i don't know but anyways i thought it was really funny so i'm starting to get all my birthday messages so thank you everybody for all your sweet messages i appreciate it so i have to give a big shout out to my friend nikki nick who just gave me a call here on my phone while i was um chilling in the airbnb he just wanted to call and give me a, sh uh, a call for my birthday so Thank you, Nick, you made my day. That was very, very sweet of you. It was nice to hear from you. We were catching up about what's going on back in the States. Um, and I actually earlier said it was probably like nine o'clock, but it, when we started talking, it was only like 7 a.m., which means it's probably just now about 8 a.m. in the States, and here it is almost five. So the day really is just starting in the States. That's why I'm getting all my all my birthday messages now. So. Thank you so much for calling, Nick. I really appreciate that. Nick always comments on my vlogs. So, um, and he's an editor. We're trying to get him work. So, um, thanks, my little homie. I appreciate that. I'm trying to figure out what to do tonight because everything's like, there's really just bars and restaurants, but everything's kind of like clo closing down and it's getting cold. So, I was going to go to the store and get some wine, but they're closed. So, I mean, it's Sunday in Slovenia. Um, but I'm going to try and see what my new friends are doing. I think they're finishing up on their tour or I'll see what my friend from Panama is doing, but uh, it might just be a quiet night watching movies in my Airbnb, which is fine. I don't mind with that. Hey, so I just rested in my, in my room for a bit and now I'm going to meet up with the, that gay couple because you know, it's one of their birthday and, uh, oh no, thank you. And, um, we're going to just go meet at that skyscraper bar on the 11th floor. They have a rooftop bar, and uh, we're just gonna go have a quick drink and celebrate our birthday. They did the cave tour. Oh, I also left my hat, my beanie, so I'm gonna meet up with them and get my beanie. Um, they did the cave tour, and they were saying how amazing it is. Because you, you take like a train into like the first part of the cave, and then you walk the rest of the way, but there's a castle in there. So I'm trying to book it, but because they told me about it, but it's kind of last minute because it starts at like eight o'clock in the morning. I wanna try and see if I can find the afternoon tour, like what they went on, but that may not be possible. So I may not be able to get to do with this trip, which I'm disappointed, but that's okay. It just would've been really fun to like vlog from there because I don't really have much going on tomorrow. So I'll see what I can do, if not, I still had a great trip and I'm very, very happy and I made friends. So anyways, uh, it's cold, 
but also not too crowded. See, it's kind of like, because it's Sunday night. So, anyways, I'm excited I made friends. I love, you know, this happens to me, like, remember? When I went to El Salvador, I made friends with that girl that lives in LA. And when I was in Mexico City, I made friends with another couple, and we hung out almost every night. So, this is why I love traveling by myself sometimes, because you sort of just go in these fun directions that you weren't expecting. I was talking about that to Nick earlier when he called me, so. Anyways, off to go celebrate my birthday. I just had drinks with my new friends that I met. Um, Mateo and Nayar, I think that's how you say his name, um, that I met on the tour. Um, I was gonna do a video when I was with them, but um, they only had a little, they only had like about an hour because they're going to dinner for Nayar's birthday. And so I didn't want to spend the whole time doing a video. I wanted to spend the time with my friends. But I was telling you how I always just meet people when I go out and I always end up having drinks with them and I make friends with them. And they're so much fun. I really think we're gonna, um, I think we're gonna like talk and hang out because um, Mateo comes to um, San Francisco a lot for work. And um, I don't know, they just seem really cool. Like they're just really cool down to earth people. So I am looking forward to hanging out with them some more. So, um, with that said, it's time to end this evening. I think I'm gonna go back to the room. The, um, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. It's such a beautiful night, but the, um, the store was closed, so I couldn't get any wine, which I was kind of bummed about. Um, I do need some dinner, so let me see what's around here I can find. I'll get some dinner, go back to the room and just chill. I actually did look up that tour to see if I was able to book the tour and yeah it was already sold out um i would have had to have book it like that morning so it happens i'm not mad about it it is what it is um i still had a great time and it'll just give me a reason to come back right so all right um so i'm having a great time in slovenia and i'm glad i met i actually you know i've met uh i usually meet straight people and this is the first time i've actually met gay people uh, hung out with and they told me that after the second tour they did, which is, I did the first part of the tour with them, but then they did a, a second half of the tour, which is the part I wish I could do, which is the cave. They said there was another gay gentleman on that tour and they were they didn't get a chance to get his number, but they were going to invite him to hang out tonight so all four of us could hang out, but they weren't able to get his number, I guess. So, oh, that's all right. Um, but it was really, really cool to meet friends. Like I was saying, that's one good reason I love about traveling is I always get to just meet the most fascinating people. And these two travel a lot and they've been all over the world and we were just able to swap stories about traveling. So that's fun, you know? And they've given me some ideas of where I want to go and I've given them ideas of where they want to go. So um, it's nice to be able to like swap those stories so that way if I book trips in the future, I have people to talk to about it. So, so there you go. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go enjoy my evening. Check in with you soon. Okay, well, my day is practically over. I am laying in bed, but the funny thing is because of the nine hour difference, it's still only about, so it's about 10 o'clock here. So it's about one in the afternoon in LA. So yeah, I mean, I'm still getting tons of text, mes text messages and messages on Instagram and Facebook from everybody at home. So that's kind of nice as I'm laying here, sort of like basking in this great day that I had. I'm looking through everybody's messages and it's very, very sweet. Um, so I'm trying to respond to everybody. It takes a while because I don't see them right away and Facebook doesn't really organize them all that well. So if I miss them, please forgive me. I, I'm catching up. But yeah, I'm just laying here. I had the heat on. I'm under the covers. I took the cover off my tattoo and I put some cream on it and I took a nice hot shower. So I'm all... Comfy, cozy in bed. Yeah, and just had a really nice um, day, like I said. And I met my new friends, and uh, we had a couple glasses of wine. They went off to dinner, and I just came home and relaxed. So, yeah, very nice. So since I have no tours tomorrow, tomorrow's just going to be a chill day. I also got to pack and get everything organized. But, uh, you know, it's like I had a good time, and I'm ready to come home. Um... I work on. A, I have to work on a few things. So, um, I had a nice vacation. 
really nice to celebrate my birthday. So thanks for watching today's vlog all about my birthday. And um, for all of those that, that sent me messages and, and texts and everything today, thank you so much. Um, it really, really, really means a lot. So um, it may not seem like it does, but it does. Birthdays are big for me. And so for anybody that just reached out and actually sent like personal messages, like I'm very touched. So thank you so much for that. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. So hope everybody had a great Sunday. And um, again, happy birthday to my sister and my cousin and all my other friends that I reached out to today. Hope they had a great birthday. And my new friend that I made, I love it. Um, take care, everybody. Talk to you later.